where all the babies come from? Isn't that you understand like what you did? You left your mother and father and you got what? Okay. And shall cleave unto his wife. And shall do what? Cleave unto his wife. Nah, shall leave her. Cleave unto his wife. Shall prostitute her. Cleave unto his wife. Cleave unto your wife, man. Why? The same way you understand that woman is bound, you understand, for the rest of her life to that man? You understand? You have sex with that woman, keep her for the rest of your life. That'll be simple, man. Right. That'll cure, you understand, a lot of heartbreaks out there. You understand? That will cure, you understand, so many women's problems. Well, he left me. You understand? Well, you know what? I was having sex. I loved him. He left me for another woman. He left me, you understand? Well, the Bible says what? And shall cleave unto his wife. Cleave unto that woman, man. You understand? You have sex with that woman. Make sure that's the woman you want to keep on yourself for the rest of your life. I understand a lot of women, you understand, don't deserve your rod, though. You understand? A lot of women, you understand, are, you understand, dragging in your house. You understand? Well, what about, you understand, if you court her? What about, you understand, if you get to know her? What about, you understand, before you have sex, before you penetrate her, you understand? You get to know who she is. Like this, you understand? You will know if you want her for the rest of your life. Because what the Bible says, you got to cleave unto your woman, man. You got to hold that woman for the rest of your life. We love, we understand, women over here. You understand? We love, you understand, and not every woman. Man. You understand? In the UPK, we are we are on the marriages, man. You know what? Because marriage is between a man and a woman, man. You understand? We love black women. You understand? Don't be fooled with people telling you, well, these Israelites, you understand? They don't they hate women. We love our women over here, and that's why some some of us got many. Right. You understand? Right. Because right. we love women, man. Right. You understand? And we want the best for them, man. We what you got? The book of First Corinthians, chapter seven, verse thirty-nine. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. The wife is bound by the law as long as the husband liveth. Why? Why? Because that man is your man for life, man. The Christian church teaches you about marriage. You understand? And they teach you about divorce. You could leave your man. But what does the Bible say? The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. And that should be, you understand, an example for all of us. That should be the example for all of us, you understand? There will be no, no you understand, no divorce, you understand, if we follow the Bible. Now, the woman could cheat on you, you understand, leave you, and get everything, you understand, you work for. Well, the Bible says what? The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. You understand, by the law. This is who's talking, it's Paul, right? Paul is saying, you understand, the woman is bound by the law as long as the man, you understand, the man is alive. You understand? You're not allowed, you understand, to leave your man. You have sex with that man, keep that man for the rest of your life. And that will bring, you understand, accountability in your life. Make sure, you understand, you, you know the man that you're laying down with. Make sure you want to, you understand, keep that man for the rest of your life. Make sure, you understand, you court that man, you understand, for at least, you understand, a good period of time. And you know if you want that man for the rest of your life. That will, that will be, you understand, a, a good help in our community. You understand? Meanwhile, you understand, the music industry, you understand, is promoting, promoting what? Promoting, you understand, a woman could have sex with that man and that man and that man. And when she's tired, when she's sad and wants a man, a box is already used. Well, you know what? You have sex with one man, keep that man for the rest of your life. It's not my words. You understand? That's what the Bible said. Read it again. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. But if her husband be dead... She is at liberty to be married to whom she will. You understand now? You have, that, you have sex that with that man, keep that man for the rest of your life. You understand? That said, that, that, that's, that's all simple, man. You understand? Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. You understand? That's simple as it gets. You understand? And, and with that, we won't have no more whores, you understand, in our community. We won't have, you understand, no loose, your woman that are loose. We won't have that in our community if we just follow that example, man. If we just follow, you understand, this precept that's in the Bible that the Christian church, your Christian preacher, will never tell you. Because why? He's having sex with your woman. You understand? Read. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is what? 
Honorable in all. Disgusting. Honorable in all. Well, the Catholic preachers, you understand? The Catholic priests, you understand? They don't want to have sex with you understand? With a woman. What, you understand? What, what does the Bible say? Marriage is honorable in all. They tell you, you understand? Having sex with a woman is disgusting. It's fornication. What does the Bible say? Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable in all, man. God loves to see a black, you understand, a, a man and a woman together. Because that's what, you understand, the Bible prescribed. Not a man with a man, not a woman with a woman. You understand, that's disgusting and filth. You understand, read. And the bed undefiled. And the what? Bed undefiled. The bed is undefiled, man. That, you understand, that, that good sex that you're having with your man, that's undefiled. You understand? But you know what, you know what? There's something that's disgusting, and according to the Bible, is a man laying with a man, just like also one five thousand a bond. We're saying, you understand? It is a disgusting thing to see a man with a man, a woman with a woman, man. You understand? It is a disgusting thing. Matter of fact, you understand? Y'all see LGBTQ, right? Now they're hiding the kids. Where are the the, the woman and the men in the LGBTQ? Why they are left? You understand? Left aside. Why? Meanwhile, all of them come from a man and a woman. Am I, am I wrong? Why, why, why they are left aside? Why? Because it is not about, you understand, building a family just like the Bible say. Right. This empire, this society does everything contrary to the Bible, man. Right. Read. But whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. And who? But whoremongers. Whoremongers, man. Leave those whores alone, man. You understand? As black Hispanics and Native Indian, we, you understand, we shouldn't be buying whores. We shouldn't be, you understand, on the corner looking, you understand, just, just to achieve sex. You understand? We should be, you understand, looking for a princess of Zion, man. And you understand, a princess that will hold me down for life, for the rest of my life until I die. You understand? Whoremongers, you understand, is what we see in this society is what this society promotes and this is why you understand you have men having sex with a woman living that woman having sex with another woman you understand and breaking the hearts of many women you understand what the bible says what but whoremongers and adulterers god will judge what is adultery adultery is when you have a man and you have sex with another man or he ha you understand? He has this woman, and I go and I go have sex with his woman. That's adultery, man. Adultery is not you having multiple wives, just like the Christian church says. You understand? Adultery is you having sex with a woman that has a man, just like the Christian preacher does. You understand? Right. Just like your Christian preachers, he's having sex. You understand with your woman? You understand? All these, you understand? Those pray morning prayers and everything. The preacher is coming in the morning prayer in my house. He's having sex with your woman. You understand? You better leave the Christian church alone. Come to the ISUPK, Israelite School of Universal and Practical Knowledge. You understand? Come get this knowledge of God, man. Come get the truth out of the Bible, out of men that understand the Bible, out of priests and prophets, you understand? That study this Bible and will bring you the truth no matter what. Right. You understand? Read. Verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Genesis 2, 24. You understand? A man and a woman got to be together. LGBTQ, you understand? We stand against it. Your preacher won't. Matter of fact, you understand? We see even Jewish people, you understand? Jewish, Jewish rabbi, rabbi, you understand? That say, well, you know what? If a kid identify as another gender, it shouldn't, you understand? That kid, the school shouldn't tell the parents. Meanwhile, they owe the Torah. Meanwhile, you understand, being LGBTQ is against the Torah, man. You understand? It's against the Bible. It's against God. Meanwhile, you have LGBT, you understand, community members that holds a cross, that wear a cross on their neck. Why? Because it is hypocrisy, man. It is hypocrisy, you understand, to be in the LGBTQ community and to, to say you love God or you follow God or to be a preacher, you understand, a lesbian preacher and whatnot. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 2. Verse 24, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. Isn't that, you understand, what, you understand, where all the babies come from? Isn't that, you understand, like what you did? You left your mother and father and you got what? Come on, come on. And shall cleave unto his wife. And shall do what? Cleave unto his wife. No, I shall leave her. Cleave unto his wife. Shall I prostitute her. Cleave unto his wife. Cleave unto your wife, man. Why? The same way, you understand, that woman is bound, you understand, for the rest of her life to that man. 
You understand? You have sex with that woman, keep her for the rest of your life. That'll be simple, man. Right. That'll cure, you understand, a lot of heartbreaks out there. You understand? That will cure, you understand, so many women's problems. Well, he left me. You understand? Well, you know what? I was having sex. I loved him. He left me for another woman. He left me, you understand? Well, the Bible says what? And shall cleave unto his wife. Cleave unto that woman, man. You understand? You have sex with that woman. Make sure that's the woman you want to keep on your stand for the rest of your life. I understand a lot of women, you understand, don't deserve your rod, though. You understand? A lot of women, you understand, are, you understand, dragging in your house. You understand? Well, what about, you understand, if you court her? What about, you understand, if you get to know her? What about, you understand, before you have sex, before you penetrate her? You understand? You get to know who she is. Like this, you understand? You will know if you want her for the rest of your life. Because what the Bible says, you got to cleave unto your woman, man. You got to hold that woman for the rest of your life. We love, we understand, women over here. You understand? We love, you understand, and And again, if you are not, you understand, from those 12 tribes, black, Hispanic, and native Indian, you understand? You understand? If, if you are not, you understand, from this side, this, what I'm saying doesn't concern you. You understand? Because I'm here to wake up my people, because my people been destroyed. When I see, you understand, in Dundas Square right now, I see the other nation, you understand? I see the Arabs, you understand? Their family is being, you understand, are well. Their marriage is going good. I see these other nations, you understand? Meanwhile, our people, I don't see all people. I don't see, you understand, so many black, Hispanic, and native Indian, many women walking together, you understand, and being all happy and everything. So, you understand, what I'm saying concerns them. And if we follow what, you understand, what, what, what is in this Bible, we will be better than every other race of people on this earth. This is the Zondervan Pictorial Bible Dictionary, page 345. Marriage. Marriage is an intimate personal union to which a man and woman. Wait, 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 wait. Well, man, so like I don't want. Um, you say a man and woman. What about the LGBTQ? An intimate personal union to which a man and woman consent. Right. You understand? A man and a woman consent. This is powerful over here. This is a, you understand? A Bible dictionary, man. It doesn't say nothing about a, a man with a man, a woman with a woman, but a man and a woman. You understand? This is marriage. If your Christian preacher, you understand, is ma marriage, you understand, doing gay marriage, is not following that, that Bible. You understand? That's, that's how the Bible dictionary. Read. Consummated and continuously nourished by sexual intercourse. Oh, whoa, whoa. You see, good sex is in the Bible. Good sex is part of the Bible. Everybody want to talk about Adam and Eve, right? Adam and Eve, they had sex. They had sex to produce those two, you understand, those two children, Cain and Abel. They had sex, you understand, to produce Seth. You understand? Good sex is in the Bible. You understand? Read. Consummated and continuously nourished by sexual intercourse. Continuously nourished by sexual intercourse. You understand? You have, you understand? You understand? To what I don't want. You understand? You, you have that man. Have sex with that man. You understand? I have sex with that man. I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna tell you how many times you, you should have sex. But you know what? Keep that sex going. That's in the Bible. You, you a man? Keep that sex going, man. You understand? Because your marriage is nourished to that. And by sex, you go through a lot of things, you understand? That is wrong with your marriage. That is wrong, you understand, in your family, you understand? That is wrong in your house. You forgive that woman, you understand, because she yelled at you. You understand? Because she got out of character and everything. Just have sex with her. 
Just put that rod in there. You understand? That's in the Bible. You understand? And this is why, you understand? What I'm saying, no preacher man, no preacher, no Catholic priest will tell you, you understand, what we're saying. Meanwhile, this is in the Bible. Matter of fact, speaking of the Catholic priest, they don't marry women, but they have sex with little boys, though. You understand? They have sex with little boys. It's time for us to understand, to open up this book. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, open up this book, man. Because this book will save your life, will cure your life, man. You understand? Touch on Christ's parents too, yeah. Damn right, to what, Ottawa? You understand? Christ's parents, you understand, had sex. You understand? Mary and Joseph had sex. This is how Christ was made. You understand? This is how Christ was born, through sex. You understand? And we have class 